entering data into SPSS. In this session, we will learn how to build an SPSS data set from scratch by entering our own data. Let's assume we just conducted a small survey where we asked five individuals for their name, their age, and their gender. Each individual's information will now be entered into one row. The survey questions, what is your name, what is your age, what is your gender, are captured in the columns as variables. Let's first enter the data. Our first respondent is Jennifer. She's 23 years old and she is female. So she gets a 1 for now. The second respondent is George. He's 25 and he is male. Therefore he gets a 2. Third respondent is Eric. 26 and so forth for Anne and then for Elaine. Now note in variable 6 we enter text that is letters. This kind of variable is called a string variable. SPSS will not be able to make much use of this variable in subsequent data analysis. Like most other statistical packages, SPSS reads only numbers in its analysis. In variable 7 we entered numbers and SPSS interpreted this as numeric variable. It will be able to use this variable in subsequent analysis, but it does not allow us to enter text information. Let me show you. In the column age I will now enter 20 As soon as I move away from the cell, the content will disappear. That's because the variable is defined as numeric and does not accept characters. See? Now what about this variable here, number variable 8? It captures the gender of the respondents. Because this variable consists of specific categories, male and female, and because SPSS only uses numeric data for most of its analysis, we entered this information as numbers, knowing that 1 stands for female and 2 for male. You proceed in this fashion with all categorical data. For instance, when you're dealing with four car types, Toyota, Porsche, Honda and Ford, you would assign a 1 to Toyota, a 2 to Porsche, a 3 to Honda and a 4 to Ford. This way SPSS will be able to read the data. In a minute I will show you how you can match the numbers up with the categories they represent. But first things first. Let us now go to variable view and put some more work into our variable specifications. First let's change the names. From the default variable 6 we change it to name. The type a string, we could also to change it to numeric, but we want string. And if you want to, you can increase the number of characters that is allowed in the cell. If you increase it, for instance, to 12, you will be able to enter 12 characters for a long name, for instance. The second name, variable name, would be age. And the third variable name would be gender. Now, never use a variable name that begins with a number or one that contains spaces or special characters. If you do, SPSS will give you an error message. Can you see? Now, we had variable type, string, numeric, numeric, and then the width. We switch the 1 to 12, the other one stays 10. Then if you want, you can increase the decimals to 2 or 3, depending on how many decimals you want to display. We do not want to display any decimals, so we just leave it as is. Label stands for variable label. Here you can enter some additional information that tells us what the variable is all about. You can enter an entire sentence, but I recommend that you keep it short. The variable label will be displayed in your analysis output. 
and a long name will only clutter the display. Okay, we've got three variable labels here. Now let's move to the values field. Remember a minute ago I said I would show you a trick that would allow you to match up numeric information with the categories the numbers represent. This is what we will do now. The value 1 will get the text female. Value 2 will be matched up with the text male. This is only for our own information. SPSS is not going to use the text for analysis, but it will be easier for you to figure out which is which. Now, level of measurement is important. This field indicates the level of measurement that you use for your numeric variables. The basic distinctions are normal, nominal, ordinal, and scale. To know what these stand terms stand for, you may want to consult your statistic book and be careful to specify your variables at the correct level of measurement. For SPSS, uses the information in subsequent analysis. Now, we made some changes and I show you view, check value labels. As you can see under gender, the numbers turned into the text that we specified. Let's add another observation and see now you can just click on the little arrow and select female. But if you go back to view and uncheck value labels, you have once again only the numbers. Okay, and if you want to save your data set, you click on the save button and save it as exercise 2. And in the next session we will run some basic statistics and I will introduce you to the output viewer.